everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Danielle. I feel like I'm giving off semi-clown vibes today with like the red lipstick and the yellow shirt, but we're just gonna go with it. Today, I wanted to sit down and talk about school. <laughs> In particular, I wanted to talk about just kind of how to get back into the rhythm of things. I know a lot of you guys just started back classes this week. I started a couple weeks ago, so I know we're kind of all in different schedules. But as a whole, I know how hard it is to kind of get motivated and get kind of back into the grind of school. I have a ton of tips that I wanna to talk to you guys about, mainly just how to start your semester off right, some tips just for when you're starting your classes, kind of how to get a hang of things. And I'm also gonna be talking about school projects and how to make those look amazing and just, I don't know, I just wrote down some notes and I just wanna to talk to you guys. I thought this shirt was cool and appropriate to wear for this because I feel like Cody, who was like the smarter twin in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, like always wore or like this print so I feel like this is a video about school you know gotta dress smart right so yeah I naturally wrote all the notes down on my iPad you guys know I am obsessed with my iPad right now um, it has definitely enhanced my life but yeah since I've got this iPad I've been wanting to use it for school I got it to use for school to write my notes on here to go paperless and to work on school projects even work on YouTube video thumbnails and everything in between. A lot of you guys have asked me my favorite apps for school and websites and just programs that I've been using, especially on my iPad. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Adobe Students. I'm so excited to talk to you guys a little bit more about them. I was on the app store the other day and I was like looking at new programs and stuff. Just. I don't know, I just was clicking around and I was shopping around. I love going app shopping. Do you guys ever do that when you're like on your, when you're like looking and you're like, okay, what new programs can I try out? What can enhance my school life or my lifestyle or fitness, whatever it may be, but this video is about school. Basically, Adobe Spark is online. You can totally download it on your computer, but they also have an app and that's how I first initially found it. And I'm definitely gonna start using Adobe Spark for my class projects. Even if you're in high school, this is perfect. I honestly wish I had this in high school for all the thousand presentations and projects I did because on Adobe Spark, they can help you with video projects, with cool graphics, animations, and it's just so easy for all ages. Your mom could do it, you could do it if you're in middle school, high school, it's seriously so easy. So yeah, with Adobe Spark, there's so many different routes you can go. I'm definitely gonna use it in my fashion merchandising class because I know we have a lot of projects and presentations coming up and I wanna make them super cool because I'm really, really interested in that class. You can do different things. So we, like I said, you can do graphics, so you can upload a photo and you can add text, you can make it really cool. You can even do your YouTube thumbnails on there if you want. I'm gonna start playing around with that. So this specific app is Adobe Spark Post. There are remixable templates and color palettes and some other really easy features to use, which I love. They have an education tab, a photography tab, a small business tab. I know in some of my classes, they've had me make like mock web pages or websites. Um, actually, a lot of my classes I've done that in the last few years. I also did that in high school. So they have a feature on Adobe Spark where you can do that. Also, if you're starting to get into video editing and video projects, they have a whole section for that too that they call video stories. So you can add animations and text and it's so super easy, user friendly. So yeah, definitely check out Adobe Spark. I'll have a link down below. It's seriously amazing for if you're a student, if you're not a student, anything of the sorts, but especially if you're in high school or college, I think this is just the next best thing. My second tip is very important and that is to read your syllabus immediately. I'm talking immediately. Not only read it, but also pull out your planner and put in all the test dates. I seriously suggest it. I actually went to the extent of putting it in my paper planner and also online on my web calendar. I don't always have my paper planner with me as much as I'd like to say I do. I just don't always carry around a big daily planner. So I also put them um, online so they are on my phone and my iPad or whatever electronic I'm on so I get notifications. I literally even went to the extent of looking at all the assignments. I'll put like, okay, you have an assignment due this day, you have a test that day, you have a project that day, you have a presentation that way so that I can kind of look ahead and see everything. Because otherwise, if like, let's say on every Sunday night you looked at check if you didn't know you had a test the next day that's like an issue so I really suggest doing that it's also really good to read your syllabus because you can see when your teachers it's also really good to read your syllabus because you can see when your professor's office hours are when you can meet with them what their attendance policy is just so many different things so you make sure you're you're good to go something I've recently started doing and I think has been really really beneficial for me is so like I said my last tip is to write down all your test dates your due dates everything in your calendar 
But then when you see maybe some weeks, I noticed like all my professors decided to give me exams in the same week because they, I swear, they just go and meet up and they're like, he, 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 we're gonna ruin Danielle's life for a week. I'm just kidding, but like kind of not really, ah. Uh. Let's say you're going through your planner and you're like, wow, I have three tests and two assignments due that week. That's gonna be a crazy week. Figure out the way you wanna mark it, but I usually highlight, like I'll just draw like a one big pink line over that whole week. So I know, oh my gosh, okay, that's gonna be a really busy week. I can't make a lot of plans that week. That is girl boss mode. So that on Monday, starting that Monday, I always do this. If I know I have a really big week ahead or stuff I have to get down, I'm like, okay, Danielle, you gotta go in girl boss mode. You know, you just gotta like get ready so you're mentally prepared for it. That way when you're making plans with people, you can go and be like, oh, that's a highlighted week. Like I really should be nice to myself and not add anything more that week. This next tip is so important, like so important. And and once I didn't do this and it just really messed me up. Every time you walk into a class, I suggest your first day or second day of class because otherwise it gets kind of weird. Make a friend, I'd say make one to three friends in each of your classes or get their number or something so you have a point of contact so that, you know, because in college, and in high school sometimes, your teachers don't always remind you like, oh remember you have a test next class or you have an online assignment or whatever it may be. So I really love getting to know people in my classes. Only one thing because it's fun and it's nice to like have someone to sit with, but also you can kind of keep each other in check and if you need help with something, I find that I, I just do my work at night and I like immediate answers and my professor's simply just not gonna respond at night usually. They have a life too, so it's kinda nice to have a friend that I can kind of clarify things with. I just really suggest that. My next tip is to clean out your backpack and your folders from last semester. I had some friends sit down next to me to in class and they have like all their stuff from last semester in their backpack and we were starting a new class and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. So make sure to clean out your backpack, clean out your folders so you're not worried about anything from last semester because last semester who? That's done with now, especially if you're in college because it's really crazy how you literally have a class for only a semester and then the next semester you have totally new classes and everything's good. So definitely do that, just clean out your life. Next, I wanted to talk about textbooks really quick because I have found in many of my classes, okay, just so many things I have to say about textbooks. One, they're overpriced, can we all agree? Oh my gosh. This semester in particular during ad drop week, some people call it syllabus week or silly week. I switched a lot of my classes. I switched my times around. I decided I didn't want to do this. I did want to do that. You know, you have to make sure you like the class and it's best for you. So I made this mistake one semester and I just will never do this again. I bought all my textbooks before classes even started, which was so dumb because then I ended up switching out of one of those classes and I had to like try and sell it to someone else, which is another tip. If you have a textbook, definitely try to sell to people. If you're in a sorority, I definitely suggest messaging in your sororities group me or if you have a Facebook page and say, hey guys, like for you freshmen that just came in, if you're taking by, I don't know, Biology 101, I have a textbook and you can sell it for like cheaper for them. But yeah, a few things I've noticed, definitely wait, I, I literally wait like a week and a half until I get my textbooks because usually the professors aren't gonna sign you anything right away on the textbook because they know and they're just expensive. And I found in a couple of my classes, they say that you use the textbook and then we never use the textbook and I'm so mad because I spent all that money and lugged that book around with me. So just, just be aware, I mean, be smart, but definitely like, you know, don't waste your money. My last tip is to go in with a positive attitude. I came into this semester with a really positive attitude. If you go into a semester saying, oh, I'm taking all these hard classes, it's gonna be such a hard semester, you're gonna have that mindset and you're gonna manifest that into yourself. It's a law of attraction, it's just how it works and you're just gonna go into everything with such a bad attitude and you're probably gonna get bad grades. But then this, this semester I was like, no, I'm gonna do well, I need to do well this semester, I want to do well this semester and I can do well this semester. So I'm kind of gone in with that attitude. Now I'm like getting homework assignments done early, like a week early guys, that is so not like me. And I'm doing well in my classes so far. Granted, we haven't had a lot of assignments yet, but I'm just feeling so good because I told myself I could do it. I actually went on Adobe Spark because I was just bored one day and I made like a wallpaper for my laptop on Adobe Spark using their like graphics feature. And I made one that says she remembered who she was and then the game changed because that is like my motto for this year. Last year my motto was she believes she gets what she did. It's always been my favorite quote. However, 
this year I'm really into the quote she remembered who she was and then the game changed or then she changed the game however you want to say it because it's just so impactful like when you remember who you are and remember the power you have you can just kill the game so I made um, a little graphic and put it as my laptop wallpaper because then every time of my computer it's just there and it's so happy so here I'm making my own little desktop wallpaper. I'm obsessed with the quote, she remembered who she was and the game changed. So why don't you go spread your own positivity, make your own graphic on Adobe Spark post and send it my way. So yeah, those are all the tips I have for you guys. I hope this inspired you and got you guys motivated. I recently posted on Instagram and I asked you guys why you watch my videos. Just because I was curious, you know? And everyone literally said, and I was really expecting everyone to be like, cause you're in college, cause you're in college or whatever. And honestly, so many of you guys said the word motivate, whether it's I motivate you or you get motivation from my videos, which is just crazy to me. So I definitely wanna make more videos like this where I just kind of motivate you and give you some inspiration to just do better and to get ish done. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to Adobe Spark for sponsoring this video, which is really crazy. Like Adobe guys, this is Adobe. I will talk to you guys very soon for my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here and yeah, bye guys.